with Bio Awaleri. Praise the Lord. Good day to you, my friends. Such a pleasure and honor to welcome you again to another edition of Rainy in Life broadcast. I believe you are going to be tremendously blessed today. The Word of God is going to encourage you, uplift you, and there's going to be a revelation that will come to you to be able to live life successfully and overcome life challenges. But I'm so happy today to be able to uh, co-host this broadcast with one of our fathers in the faith. Somebody that is live in the ministry has been a blessing to me and to many others that I know, especially even people in the governmental position, I'm talking about pastors and leaders all over the world. His ministry has spanned over three decades. He has gone all over the world practically ministering the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as a traveling evangelist is a voice in the kingdom of God and God's general. I have with me in the studio today a father in the Lord, a mentor in the ministry. We have with us the uh, senior pastor of Global Harvest Church International, Reverend Victor Demi with us even this afternoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Pastor. It's such a joy <laughs> to be with you on this broadcast. Praise and um, I welcome our viewers from home. We're trusting God that he will speak his word to us uh, in the next half hour. Amen. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. And also, welcome to Canada. Uh, yes. I know as you travel over the world, I know you have a lot of speaking engagement all around, but we are so blessed and privileged that you could uh, just take some time out to you know, do this with us. Uh, and I know that our viewers will be so blessed today Amen. with the tremendous, you know, depth of wisdom, revelation uh, that God has blessed you with and also with a unique anointing. Amen. You know, because I know that somebody watching us today need a miracle. Oh, yeah. Uh, need a lifting, a breakthrough. Hallelujah. And I believe by the time we get to the end of this, you know, broadcast, questions will be answered. That's right. And by the anointing of God, yoke will be broken. Amen. And body will be lifted. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank I, you. And I, I just want to, I mean, today Amen. our focus is, you know, we know that people struggle. Mm. And life is full of challenges. That's right. And all of us, even including those that are in Christ, yes. are faced with the vicissitude of life. Oh, yeah. I just want to ask, sir, yes. how can someone overcome life challenges, mm. uh, whether in the area of their health, in That's the area right. of their finances, yeah. we know life happens. Mm -hmm. And we know that the Bible says to us, you know, uh, Jesus said that in the gospel, yeah. that uh, in this world, yeah. we'll be faced with trials and challenges, That's but we right. should be of good shape. He has overcome. He has overcome Hallelujah. And so, especially to those that are believers in mm. Christ, mm. because at times I've had I've been asked that question yeah. as a pastor and also as a leader in the in the body of Christ as I meet people. Yeah. But, you know, why do the righteous suffer? Why wow. is I'm a child of God? Wow. Why, why do I need to go through this? Mm. You know, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So I just want to ask uh, uh, about how can mm. a Christian yeah. that have come to know Jesus as Lord and Pastor Savior, That's right. what should be the perspective when it comes to challenges yeah, of life? Yeah. And then when challenges do come, That's right. what should be their reaction? How, did, how can they deal with it? Oh yeah. The, the very first thing I would like to say about challenges is for us to realize we live in a fallen world. Mm. Because we live in a fallen world, mm. there will be challenges. Mm. Ever since um, Adam and Eve fell in the beginning, the entirety of the cosmos, the world social order has been affected. Mm. Even nature mm. has been affected. Mm. So we do not live in a planet that is exactly the way it was made. Mm. We see God's mind in the disciples' prayer where he taught to pray, Our Father, which mm. is in heaven, hallowed be thy name, mm. thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. God's plan from the beginning is that the earth should reflect heaven. Mm. And so the original earth that God uh, created, um, you know, was an earth with perfection mm. that looked like heaven. Mm. But ever since the fall of man that led to the introduction of satanic government over mm. the world's social order, mm. the, the world has become a fallen world. Wow. And because of the, of the fact that the world is a fallen world, 
That's why we have earthquakes, we have mm. some natural disasters, we have tornadoes. And at times when some of these natural disasters will happen, of course, they affect Christians also. Mm. Um, we do have uh, human challenges. Mm. Like in Matthew 6, Jesus said in verse 19, uh, lay not up uh, your, your treasures upon the earth, mm. we are must and wrath. The rust doth corrupt, mm. and those are pests mm. that can corrupt the grains that people store mm. up because it's a falling world. Mm. Uh, and that's just an example of how natural things can affect uh, human wealth and human savings and development in this world. Mm. And he said, Where thieves do break through and steal. You know, in Bible days. Uh, all they knew were burglars breaking through <laughs> and stealing. In our generation, by the stroke of the pen, mm. uh, by, uh, you know, fingers on the laptop, a lot of fraud has been perpetuated. Mm. At yes, times, sir. politicians mm. and government are stealing the wealth of nations, affecting the economy of nations. So, mm. we live in a falling world. Mm. We should not expect perfection in a falling mm. world. There will normally be challenges. Secondly, there is a devil out there mm. who hates you, hates the yes. children of God, yeah. and he is fighting against us. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 12, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, mm. against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So there is a devil out there mm. that is against us. Mm. Thirdly, there are human beings against us. Mm. Uh, these are people who are not godly people. Mm. They will always hate us. From the very beginning of the Church of Jesus Christ, there has been persecution, there has been tribulation. Mm. And so the Lord Jesus Christ said, as you quoted earlier in John 16, 33, he said, uh, he said, my peace I give to you, mm. not as the world gives, give I unto you. He said, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have Praise overcome God. the world. So Praise for these reasons, the challenges of this world will come. Mm. Now, when the challenges come, what should my reaction be? Mm. Reaction number one, realize that these challenges are common. Mm. In other words, you it's not an isolated thing. It's mm. a part of life's experiences. Don't be perturbed. Mm. Don't let it throw you off balance. Mm. You are not the first to go through it. You're not going to be the last to go through it. Many have gone through and have overcome. Praise God. Of course, I know there are those who have gone through and failed, mm. but you are an overcomer. That Amen. is who you are. Praise God. First Corinthians 10, 13, there's no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. Hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. So just Praise realize God. that it's a common problem. Hmm. Number two, realize that before the challenge came, God knew Praise God. and permitted it. So if you if you couldn't handle it, God will not let you face it. Mm. Now, mm. usually when challenges come, <laughs> this is what we feel as human beings. We feel like, oh, this is overwhelming. Mm. This is beyond me. Mm. I cannot handle this. But what 1 Corinthians 10, 13 tells us is that God will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able to bear. Wow. God knew the challenge was coming. Mm. And if he knew that challenge was beyond his grace in your life, he wouldn't allow it to happen mm. to you. <laughs> One time I was facing a challenge, I was like, Lord, this is too much for me. I'm too young to face this. <laughs> I cannot handle it. He said, yes, you cannot, but my grace can. Amen. Praise and that's why Paul besought the Lord three mm. times in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said, my grace is sufficient for you, for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Your weakness? So there's always that extra resource mm. of God's grace that is available for you. Mm. in your challenges. Wow. Number three, cast your cares upon the Lord. Um, when challenges come, they tend to want to overwhelm us. Mm. And so we want to be troubled and anxious. What mm. I've discovered is this. When I'm troubled and I'm anxious, I cannot be creative. Mm. Whereas I am a creative person, person, the creative person, maybe the image and the likeness Praise of God. God. Praise there God. There are solutions in my spirit. There is a spirit in man. Mm. And the inspiration the of the Almighty the gives Almighty them understanding. Amen. I will not be able to dig out mm. the creative solutions that God's inspiration will give me if my mind is cluttered. God. God. In the parable of the sower, we discovered that the seed that fell among thorns 
was the one that fell among the cares of this world mm -hmm. and the deceitfulness of riches. Mm. So cast your cares upon the Lord, like 1 Peter 5, 7 mm. says, for he cares yes, for, for you. you. Cast them and leave them there. Mm. God is able to fix the situation. So oh, yeah. once you cast your cares, all you need to do is to stay in faith. Mm. Uh, 1 John 5, 4 says, whatsoever yeah. is Hallelujah. born of God Praise overcomes God. the world. Praise God. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Our faith. After right. people have gotten their salvation by faith, they try to get other things <laughs> from God by other means. Mm. Whereas all the provisions of the grace of God are appropriated by faith. by faith. So I do not get my victory by lamenting. Mm. I do not get my victory by wailing and crying. Mm -hmm. I do not get my victory by murmuring. Mm -hmm. I get my victory by staying in faith. Hallelujah. And faith simply believes, affirms, the word of God and act like it is so. So God. be speaking God's word in the midst of your going through. Your victory is guaranteed. Wow. Jesus said, <laughs> in the world you will have tribulation, but Glory. be of good cheer. Hallelujah. Now, be of good cheer means get excited. Mm. Don't let the situation take your joy away. Mm. That joy is a demonstration of your faith in God. So stay in faith. Stay in joy, mm. even when you can't see your way through the darkness, even when you cannot see how you can come out of it. Just be singing God's praise. Glory it's all God. a matter of time, and you are coming out of this. Wow, <laughs> wow, this <laughs> is this amazing. Thank you so much, sir. As a matter welcome. of fact, you have even answer some of the, <laughs> the questions already, <laughs> questions already <laughs> you know that just you know tie everything together yes, and, and, and i believe those of you listening to us you know whatever the situation you're going through right now god just gave you wisdom on how to deal with it oh, and uh, yeah. don't just be hearers of the word but the doer of it. And oh, I'm yeah. trusting God that as you practically live on those words being spoken, you know, by God's servant, you are going to begin to experience change. Amen. And the empowerment will come into your situation so that you can overcome. And mm. God is going to help you, sir. You yes, know, sir. as we continue this conversation, yes. I, I realize that a lot of people really do not mm. understand how to live by faith. Mm. And I think if you, I mean, you just quoted First John chapter right, 5, five, verse four, 4, that whatsoever is born of God, overcoming overcome the, the world. And this, this is, is the, the victory, victory. Yeah. that overcoming the world, even, even our, our faith. faith. Yes. And people at times confuse, mm. you know, uh, the subject of faith. Yeah. And they do not understand yeah. how to, you know, uh, walk by faith. That's right. They do not even understand me. You just said something very powerful now in terms yeah. of, you know, before your faith produces. That's right. Before you see the manifestation right. of what you believe you have received. That's right. That you, they should stay in joy, in joy. and all of yeah, that yeah, yeah. and give praise to God. Can you just help us shed more light? Yeah, about you living know, by faith. About yeah. living by faith. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Now, one thing you need to understand about faith is that it is different from hope. Hmm. Hope is your expectation. Hope is uh, your uh, future expectation. So uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, until April 17, last month, 2019, I hoped to become a grandfather. Mm. I've, ever since I got married, I've always hoped, if all my life, I've always <laughs> hoped one day I'll be a daddy and then I'll be a granddaddy. Mm. That was my expectation of the future, that the future would deliver it to me. Mm. On the 17th of April, last month, uh, our first granddaughter, granddaughter grand, grandchild was born and I became a grandfather. Now I hope to become a great grandfather. <laughs> Glory to God. My hope is in the future. Hope Amen. is always in the future. Mm. The difference between faith and hope is this. Faith cannot exist without hope. Mm. But Hebrews 11 once says faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm. Simply put, like the New International Version puts it, faith is the assurance mm. of things hoped for. What I hope for is the future. But my faith says, what I've always been hoping for will happen someday mm. has now come to me. I believe it. Mm. I can't taste it. Mm. I can't touch it. Mm. I can't see it. But I believe I have it now. Praise God. <laughs> so what faith does is that it takes that which is in the future mm. and claims it as a present reality. 
even though it is not yet so. Mm. Let me give you an example, Mark 11, 24. Mm. What things whoever you desire, so mm. let's imagine you desire marriage. When you pray, at the time you pray, says, believe you receive them, and then you shall have them. Mm. You shall have them means that for me to taste it, touch it, experience mm. it, mm. will happen in the future. But it says that I should believe I receive when I pray. Amen. So in the present, when I pray, I believe I receive from God. Mm. But it's going to show up later. Mm. But if you ask me after I pray, then say, hey, Victor, mm. um, what, what, is a, what is it about your marital status? I will say, I believe Amen. that I am married Amen. by the grace of God. Amen. Because I believe. I received my spouse when I prayed. Praise God. So that is how faith operates. Mm. I'll give you an example of this faith in speech. Mm. God changes the name of Abraham and Sarai one day. Mm. Their name had meant exalted father. And I think Sarai also means a maybe exalted mother. I'm not too sure about that. Mm. But God gave them this name, Sarah, Abraham. Abraham means father of nations. And then Sarah means mother of nations. nations. And these two people started calling themselves by that name. By that name. Uh, hmm. And they began to call themselves uh, what they were going to become in the future before hmm. they became it. Hmm. They called it and they believed hmm. it before it happened. Before it happens. Normally, they ought to call themselves Abraham and Sarah after they had given hmm. birth to children. And those children had become plenteous. But they were calling themselves that name Amen. when they didn't even have a child. Praise God. So faith, so one translation of the Bible says, is the title deed. Amen. When somebody <laughs> buys land, you get documents. Mm. Uh, even if you've not visited the land physically, the document says you have it. Mm. I remember years ago when I would buy the first new car. I will mm. buy, you know, in Nigeria, I would majorly buy second-hand cars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and when the majority of people do. Mm. And then uh, a minority buys brand new cars. Yes. So when I was going to buy my first brand new car, I remember paying in a city called Ibadan in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, and I was to pick up the car in Lagos, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, one and a half hours away. Mm -hmm. So I went to the bank in Ibadan and I paid for the car. Mm -hmm. And I got a bank teller, which was evidence that I had paid the paid. money. Mm -hmm. I carried that document. I now drove to Lagos with my mm. personal assistant who was going to drive the old car back home. <laughs> going to claim the mm. car I just paid, paid for. for. Now, that document in my hand, that bank teller, means it was the evidence I had a car, I have a car. that I was going to claim Amen. in Lagos. Praise God. I had not seen the car. Mm -hmm. I had not touched the car. Mm. I had not driven the car. Mm. I had not possessed the car. Praise God. But I heard it. Mm. because of that document in my hand. So faith is like that. And basically, it is you looking into the Word of God and seeing the provisions of Christ's mm. sacrifice 2,000 years ago on mm. Calvary's cross, claiming them as a reality Amen. for you, Amen. declaring them, Glory to God. and it's just a matter of time, it will become something you can taste, touch, and feel. Wow. That is just what faith simply is. Wow, yeah. that is that is so powerful. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, Hallelujah. for sharing with us uh, the faith process. Oh, yeah. The process that will culminate in manifestation. Oh, yeah. And thank you. And I believe, you know, as we have been discussing this, this is a blessing to you, mm. inspiring you repositioning you so mm. that you can be all God wanted to Hallelujah. be. You know, sir, before you pray for our audience even right. today, you know, I also want you to quickly within a few minutes before you pray, mm. uh, regarding uh, the enemy, you mentioned it. Yes. That we, uh, apart from the catastrophe that happened in the Garden of Eden, That's right. the sin that came, the cause that mm -hmm. came because of sin, mm -hmm. and that Satan also our adversary, yeah. the opposer, yeah. the troublemaker, oh, yeah. is also one of the great elements oh, yeah. that is causing dysfunctionality oh, yeah. in our world. Oh, yeah. now, but the scripture says in First John chapter 5, verse 19, but right. the whole world lies the under wickedness. the sway yeah. of the wicked one, oh, yeah. under the influence of the wicked one. Oh, yeah. If you are going to quickly, you know, also, mm. you know, help our viewers. That's right. Uh, in dealing with Satan, yeah. Bible calling the father of all lies. Yeah. Uh, what should be also something they need to know why mm. they stand in faith, That's right. why they confess the word, yeah. why they take the word of God that cannot be broken That's as right. the title did. That's right. uh, what are the things also that they need to know, yeah. you know, why they, you know, 
wait to see the manifestation of what they believe they have received. That's right. Well, the first thing that you need to know about the devil mm. is his method. Mm. The Bible says that we are not ignorant of his devices. devices. Methodos in the Greek mm. means his methods. And his methods are constant. Mm. And the constant one, the Bible tells us about in Ephesians 6 verse 12, when it says, finally, my brethren, I mean, when it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Uh, we have four, it says, um, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The word wiles means the cunningness, mm. the craftiness, mm. the deceitfulness. Mm. And look at how he carried out that method in the Garden of Eden. He mm. comes to Eve and says, mm. as God said, mm. you may not freely eat of any fruit of any tree in the garden. He twisted the word of God. Mm. And even when um, you know, Eve said, oh, we can eat of every fruit mm. of every tree in the garden, it's only the tree that is, the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, the, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of, e of e good and evil that we cannot eat of, because the day we eat of it, we shall surely die. He said, it's, it's <laughs> not true. Mm. It's a lie. Mm. His method is to cast aspersions mm. on the integrity of God's word. God's word. Satan calls God a liar. Mm. Satan accuses God to man. Mm. He's a slander. Mm. He's an accuser. Mm. And all he wants you to do is to doubt the mm. word of God. Mm. Same temptation came to the Lord Jesus Christ. He was baptized in John's baptism in Matthew 3.16. And the father declared this is my beloved son in mm. whom I'm well placed. Mm. Two verses later, chapter 4, verse 1, Jesus was led of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. The first temptation was, if you be the son of God, yes, sir. if is the badge of doubt, mm. the moment he introduced if mm. into it, he was trying to cast as passions again on the mm. integrity of God's word, mm. trying to tell Jesus, you are not the son of God. Wow. Thank, and he was trying to encourage him, validate yourself by commanding the stones to become bread. <laughs> and Jesus was like, I don't need to validate myself <laughs> by turning stone into bread. Mm. I know who I am. Praise God. Praise <laughs> I know God. I'm the Glory son of the living God. God. He knew who he was. Mm. So what Satan does mm. is to try to create doubt in your heart mm. against the word of God and to deceive you that the truth of the word of God is not, is not so. That's why the greatest thing for you Mm. in overcoming life's challenges is to find out what God has to say about the challenge. Amen. If you are sick, what does the word of God say Amen. about your health? Amen. If you have financial needs, what does the God of God say about your finances? Mm. If you have uh, trouble, uh, you, you know, sleeping, what does the word of God say about Hallelujah. sleep? Praise if you have trouble with depression, what does the word of God say about your emotions in the mm. Bible? Mm. You know, find out what the word of God has got to say about your situation. Spend time meditating on it over and over mm -hmm. again till you move beyond your doubts Hallelujah. until the voice of the enemy Glory. is silenced. Praise For God. as long as those doubts are there, it means you've not spent enough time in mm. God's word. So just stay in mm. God's word, meditating mm. on them over and over again. Jesus overcame the devil with it is written, mm. it is written, Hallelujah. it is written. And Hallelujah. that's the same way you will overcome the devil. Most Christians face one challenge, and that is the fact that when they start declaring what the word of God has to say, if they don't get immediate <laughs> answers, then they give up. Mm. Whereas the Bible says uh, that it is through faith and patience, patience. that we inherit the promises Promise. in Hebrews 6 verse 12. Mm. Patience is not a passive word. Mm -hmm. Patience simply means to remain the same. See. In other words, you believe, keep believing. Hallelujah. You are confessing the word of God, Glory keep confessing. God. Amen. David Young Cho, who God used to build the largest church in the world, said this some time ago. He went to Japan to uh, preach the gospel. And the very first day he appeared there, the first night the devil appeared to him in his bedroom. <laughs> and said, so you came over here to my territory? I'm going to kill you here tonight. Hmm. David Young Cho said he was scared. <laughs> and he started speaking in tongues. As he was speaking in talks, the devil just smiled. <laughs> I said, when you are done, let me know, and I'm going to kill you. Wow. He stayed there, like unaffected about the tongues. Hmm. Then Young Cho said that the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, the way you are handling the situation, you will not defeat the devil. Speak the word the of word. God. Oh, so he began to declare what the word of God had to say. 
The yeah. devil sat down there and smiled again. I said, when you are done, let me know. Wow. And I'm going to kill you. Now he became petrified. <laughs> because the Holy Spirit says to use the word. I'm using the word and it's not working. Mm. In his own opinion, it wasn't working. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, he is a deceiver. Mm. It is working. Mm. Keep speaking mm. the word. Hallelujah. So he kept speaking the word. Glory to God. The devil said, well, I'll see you some other time. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the devil. Glory to God. Morning, God. Amen. The devil is a liar. He Praise cannot stand God. the word of God. Find out what the word of God has got to say about your situation. Read it out aloud. Glory to God. To yourself over and Amen. over again. And just do that several times in a Amen. day and every single day like that. One of these days, you will look for the Glory devil in your situation. God. You will find him no more. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is good meat. Thank wonderful, you, refreshing to our soul. I believe. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know about you, but I know, you know, I have assurance that this word that has come to you mm -hmm. tonight, this evening, is a blessing changing you, healing you, uh, taking you to a place of uh, strength and a place of joy. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Uh, we, we, we can now remain the same again, you know, with that depth of insight and revelation. But I just want to talk. Mm. Please pray for all this. Hallelujah. You know, I know that, you know, uh, there's no limit in the man, realm of the spirit. The Bible says he sent for this world. Hallelujah. And this world heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Yes, Lord. I just wanted to please just you know, pray. And I want yes. to ask those of you also listening, Hallelujah. this is a moment. And I want you to believe. Believe God's word. As you know, the man of God will pray over you. Something good is going to happen to you. Amen. Joke will be broken, body will be lifted. There'll be answered prayers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank in you, the Lord. name of Jesus oh, Christ thank of Nazareth, you, Father. I come into agreement thank with you, everyone Jesus. watching at home right now. Thank you, Lord. For a divine intervention oh, yeah, okay, boy, yes. in every challenge thank that you, you are faced Jesus. with. Speak to your marital challenges. I say peace. In the name of still. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your loneliness. Yes. And Lord. I say, let the presence of God, yes, the manifest Lord. presence of God, thank be made real yes. into your life. Yes. Lord. I will be the sickness in, the in your body. Jesus. I bind every oh, yes. oppression of darkness. Yes, I Lord. curse every yeah, infection yes. in your body. Yes. I say be healed in, in the Jesus name of name. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let the healing power of God flow through you Thank from the crown of your head to the soles Thank of your feet. Jesus. I come against every operation of Satan. In the name of I come Jesus. against every spell of darkness. And I paralyze the their name of Jesus. I break their holds yes, over Lord. your life. In the name of Thank Jesus Lord. Christ Thank of Lord. Nazareth, I declare right now angels on assignment on your behalf, yes, Lord. causing your needs to be met supernaturally, Thank you, Jesus. fighting your battles on your behalf. Thank you, Lord. Peace be still in your soul. Yes, Lord. Joy of speaking and full of glory wells up from your heart. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. I say victory is yours in the name glory of Jesus Christ, and I declare that you have overcome. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. Spirit, soul, and body, Amen. faith, family, and finance. Yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus Thank Christ. You, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And we say Glory Amen to, to that prayer. And Hallelujah. we know miracles are happening all over Glory. right now. We love to hear from you. And so please send, you know, your. Uh, testimony, good report to us. We see all the information on your screen about how to also get more resources about our ministry. Do not forget, God wants you to live life successfully. God wants you to reign in life. We we'll see you next time in another edition of our broadcast. Have a wonderful, glorious, supernatural week. God bless you. Amen. Bio Awaleri.